would just lay there. Oh, whoa! Oh! fighter who holds the record for the most takedowns and the most finishes in UFC flyweight history. Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson is a stylish fighter who has made our list of UFC legends. Today we're taking a look at the life and career of Mighty Mouse. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check back every week for more Ultimate MMA. Demetrius Johnson was born in Kentucky and early on showed a lot of talent in wrestling. Johnson was even offered a few scholarships for wrestling but turned them all down because he didn't want to leave his family behind. Johnson would eventually get his start in Alaska and then move on to world extreme cage fighting. After a rocky start, Johnson eventually started racking up win after win, making a name for himself. Eventually, WEC merged with the UFC and led Mighty Mouse to his first UFC matchup. UFC 126 against Norafumi Yamamoto. <laughs> wow, Look again, at that. beautiful takedown. Oh man, good recovery by Kid. Johnson really switches his stance up a lot, Joe, and he comes in from all kinds of different angles. He is so fast. Johnson won that fight by unanimous decision and continued on in the bantamweight division. After some wins in the bantamweight division, Johnson competed in the UFC's very first flyweight bounce in a four-man tournament for the belt. Johnson would face Ian McCall at UFC on FX2, the very first flyweight fight in UFC history. All week, very loose in advance of the UFC debut. Demetrius grabbing the single leg and a big right hand lands. Johnson won the first match by majority decision, but found out later the judges made a mistake on their score and it was actually tied. McCall and Johnson had their rematch at UFC on FX, and this time Johnson made it out with the victory for certain. And Johnson this time around, his second cut down to 125 as McCall attempts to knee and ends up on his back. The transitions continue. But Demetrius had to adjust his wrestling in this match. McCall was able to level change and take him down, and so far it's Demetrius that is getting things done on both the offensive and defensive side of this wrestling match. Finally, at UFC 152, Johnson would face Joseph Benavidez for the flyweight championship belt. And he doesn't often. Look at that. Not Josh finished. Gunner, that is just classic. Got a hold of that leg, underhooked that leg, got back up to his feet, eats a kick, and delivers a punch. This is such a It was a close and high paced fight, but by the end, Mighty Mouse squeaked out a win by split decision and made his mark on UFC history. Johnson would go on to defend his title a total of 11 times. One of the more notable fights during this time came as a rematch against Benavidez at UFC on Fox 9. Is Johnson's technique is second to none. He just does everything perfect. If you, if you, oh! Johnson won by huge knockout in the first round, stopping Benavides in his tracks and earning a knockout of the night bonus. Another one of the biggest highlights in Johnson's career came on his 11th title defense against Ray Borg at UFC 216. Mighty Mouse secured a submission victory in the first round with the Mighty Whiz Bar and earned himself a performance of the night bonus. It wasn't until his rematch against Henry Cejudo at UFC 227 that Johnson would finally lose the belt. Again with the trip, but it doesn't get. Knee to the body lands for Cejudo, another one for good measure, and the left hand behind the ear. DJ returns. It was a close matchup, 
having Johnson lose by split decision. From there, Johnson transitioned to one championship where he still competes today. We're glad Mighty Mouse is keeping up with combat sports, but we hope to one day see him once again in the UFC octagon. How good do you think Demetrius Johnson actually was? Do you have a favorite submission? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, definitely subscribe and be sure to check back every week for more Ultimate MMA.